Hey everyone, today's video is part three of I Critique Your Photos. If you haven't seen part one and two yet, I'll leave them linked down below. And I've also made a playlist of all the critique videos so you can easily find them. And if you wanna submit your photos to possibly be critiqued, please send them to juliatrottycritique at gmail.com and attach a couple of your favorite photos that you're proud of. It can be from any genre and also include your Instagram handle as well so I can credit you if you're featured. So the first photo we have is taken by Harrison Moon and it is a really fun and playful portrait. It was taken in a rose garden and I absolutely love the depth of field and the backlighting that you use to capture this shot. A couple of things that I'm noticing is that the lines on the right hand side of the image are pretty distracting since they're so defined and they are really straight lines pointing right into the background it takes a lot of attention away from your subject. So something that I kind of wish you did was maybe move yourself to the right to only get the rose bushes in the background or if the lines in the floor were unavoidable, if you had to use them and place your subject in the middle and then you would have had these really amazing leading lines bringing all the attention to your subject. Um, aside from that though, this is a wonderful image. Thanks for submitting it. The next photo we have is taken by Pratheeksha, and I'm really sorry if I didn't pronounce your name properly. Um, this is a stunning image. I really love the mood and the feeling you get when you look at this photo. I really love the bright light that she's kind of got her hand on, and I also like the light rays coming in from the window. One thing that I do notice looking at this photo is that while your subject is nice and warm from the ambient light, the rest of your photo is really, really blue. So something that I could suggest for you to do is to open up your image in Lightroom and use an adjustment brush on the entire blue area surrounding your subject and just bring up the white balance a little bit to help balance the overall image just a little bit more. But aside from that, this is a really gorgeous portrait. Our next portrait was photographed by Ram De La Rosa and this is a stunning image. The lighting on your subject's face is falling really nicely and there's no like harsh shadows distracting anywhere. Um, and I also really love the lighting as well, how it's quite warm in her face and then a little bit cooler around the rest of the photo, which is quite similar to the last photo that we looked at. Um, a couple of things that I noticed when I'm looking at this photo that I feel like you could improve uh, in real life and in Photoshop as well. The first one is that black line in the top left hand side of the image. I feel like this would be a lot more compelling if the background was just a white wall. That line is a little bit distracting as it goes straight into the top of her head. So you could really easily stamp that out using Photoshop. And one last thing that I wanted to mention was that the eyes of the model are getting a little bit lost in this photo. So something that I always recommend when I get someone to look over to the side is to make sure that not all you can see is just the white part of the eye, if that makes sense. So instead of looking all the way to the right, I will kind of ask them to look back a little bit more just so the pupils are, the pupils, the iris is in the center of the eye and you can see it a little bit better in the photo. But yeah, thank you so much for submitting it. The next portrait was taken by Roska and I love this image. You've got a really great connection with your model and I love her pose. It's really dynamic and interesting. You've got the shoulders facing one way but her face facing the other way which I think looks really cool. Something that I can suggest to maybe improve on this portrait is that I feel like the skin retouching is a little bit too much and there's no texture or detail in her skin. It is quite blurred. So I would recommend to have a play around and practice and experiment with doing different types of retouching. I feel like frequency separation is really great if you want to keep a lot of texture in someone's skin. And I've got a tutorial about that. If you, if you guys want to watch, I'll leave that link down below. Shameless self promo. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe that's something that would really improve this portrait and make it look just a little bit more realistic, like a really nice, simple portrait of someone. Our next photo was taken by Jojo, and this is a beautiful portrait. I love this photo so much. I think her pose is simple but dynamic, and I again, I love the connection that you have uh, with the eyes. 
The only thing I can suggest to improve this photo is I feel like the shadows have been pushed up a little bit too much. So if you look at the hair, instead of it being like nice and black, I feel like it's looking a little bit grayish white. So if you bring the shadows down, it would just add a lot more contrast back into the hair. And I feel like that would really make this image pop. But yeah, aside from that, I love this photo. So well done. Our next photo was taken by Kaylee. And again, I love the mood of this portrait. It's nice and fun and relaxed. It kind of just looks like you're hanging out with your friends. I also think the post-processing is really nice, but a couple of things that I would like to suggest to maybe improve this is that I feel like she's not bright enough in the photo. I feel like she's kind of blending into the background a little bit. So I would maybe suggest that in Lightroom you can use an adjustment brush to brush over her and bring up the exposure a little bit just to make her pop. Um, another thing that I notice is her hand kind of seems to disappear behind her. I would have asked her to maybe bring her hand out a little bit more so you can really see her leaning on it. Um, another thing that you could have done is had both her hands just out in front leaning on her lap, I think would have also looked really nice. But aside from those things, this is still a really beautiful candid photo and thank you for submitting it. The next photo we have was taken by Sebastian and I love this photo. It's really fun and eccentric. I love the location that you chose, I love your composition and I love the pose of your model as well. Um, a couple of things that very, very minor things that I've noticed that I feel like could really improve this. Uh, the first one is because this is such a like aligned photo, I feel like it would have been great if the model was in the dead center of the picture. So something that I like to do in Lightroom is to open the crop tool and bring up the grid overlay on my photo. Even if I'm not going to crop a photo, I like to bring that up to see where everything in my photo is in terms of rules of thirds and little things like that. So if you were to bring up the crop in this photo, I feel like the model might just be on the kind of the right hand side of the center grid. And it would be really cool if she was just right in the middle. Another thing that I noticed with this photo is that there looks to be a little bit of graffiti right next to her arm on the left side. It would be cool if you could clone that out with Photoshop and just have that be a blank blue wall. And the last thing which like bothers me just a tiny little bit is that her skirt is matching up with the pattern of the back of the wall. If you had moved down just a little bit, it would have been nice to have a little bit of a gap in between her skirt and the wall. But aside from that, you did such a good job and I think this is a really cool photo. So the next portrait we have is taken by Claire and she let me know that she does senior portraits. So this is a beautiful image. I love the light kind of whitewash tones are really nice. And I love the way how she's leaning against the wall with her head. It looks all very natural and really relaxed. The only thing that I'm noticing is that I feel like the hand positioning and arm positioning is a little bit weird. Um, I feel like something people do when they're not really that comfortable in front of the camera is that they stick their arms down into their body. And this makes for a really kind of static looking image. So something I would recommend when taking photos of people who are not models or aren't feeling that comfortable in front of the camera is to just remind them that they can move their arms around as much as they want. So I would give little prompts here and there while I'm shooting to get them to swing their arms or to maybe hug themselves and little things like that just to get their arms away from their body. So I feel like in this instance, if she was playing with her hair, but you had asked her to bring her elbows up, I feel like it would have looked a lot more dynamic and interesting. Um, but yeah, aside from that, this is a stunning portrait and I hope she was really happy with them. <laughs> and last but not least, our final photo to critique was taken by James. And this is a really cool portrait. I love the urban setting. I love his pose. I love the way he's looking at the camera. I think it all looks really cool. Um, a couple of things I want to suggest to improve this photo is the first thing that I'm noticing is that it's crooked. So because you've got so many straight lines with the buildings in the background, having a photo that's even the slightest bit off is really obvious when you first look at it. So just bring it into Lightroom and use the rotate tool to get those lines nice and straight. The next thing is that I really love that you shot this in direct harsh sunlight. It 
creates a really cool effect and it's nice and contrasty. Um, but I feel like his face is getting a little bit lost in the shadows. So something I would recommend is that it is cool to experiment with different lighting. So it's great that you shot this photo. But while I was at it, I would have also asked him to turn around and face the other way. So the sun was hitting him directly in the face. And maybe you would have gotten a photo where he would stand out a little bit more. Um, and the other thing is that I kind of wish there was a little bit more space at the bottom so you can see a little bit more of his jeans. Uh, if you didn't want his pants in, then I would just crop it in a little bit so you can't see them at all. I feel like that would just be a little bit more compositionally pleasing. <laughs> um, but yeah, aside from that, this is a really great portrait. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's critique video and found some helpful tips in the things that I said and pointed out. I make new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.